Hi there, how are you? This is Consuelo from Consuelo Viola's Daughter, and uh, my podcast is about crocheting, and that's what I'm about to show you, some of my makes. Sometimes it's my whips, work in progress, and uh, other times it's uh, something I'm interested in relating to crocheting. So today, um, I'd like to ask you, when you come in, would you give me the thumbs up so that uh, I would be very appreciative of it. Um, YouTube likes to know how you feel about viewing. So um, if you could just give me the thumbs up, I would appreciate it. Um, the other day, I finally finished my Granny Square blanket. Now I started out saying, well, I want a good size blanket, one I could cover up in. And I started out with four squares by seven, which makes it 28 total squares because they're going to be 12 inches across. So that should make it about 48 by, what's that, 84? So, um, yeah, seven times 12 is 84. So I figured with a little extra, give or take, for the border or the length wouldn't hurt. Um, I have a queen size bed and it would fit nice on that. So that's what I was thinking about. So I started this uh, journey. And I've shown you many, many times as I progressed over the month or so with the, the squares as I was making them. I had to make 14 blue or turquoise and 14 multicolor. And uh, I'm sitting on it right now. You can probably see part of it. In fact, I'm going to show it to you right away because uh, I'm not going to stay on here a long time. But this blanket turned out to be 92 by 54. That's including the border. And I'm only going to show you a part at a time because I'm not big enough to hold this whole thing. This is only half of it. Um, it does have a pattern. I uh, made a grid, you know, a little drawing, and uh, this is half of it. It's huge, and it's got a nice weight to it. Um, this is the other half. I'm going to try and show. I cannot. I'm going to post it on Instagram and Facebook if you're interested in seeing it and seeing the entire pattern. But it is actually really, really big. Um, especially since I didn't plan on being big. And uh, it just keeps going on and on and on. So <laughs> I'm going to throw it over here because my arms are getting tired of holding it. And then uh, for some reason, and I don't know how this happened, I miscounted. I think I told you guys how much I don't like to count. So I miscounted, and I ended up with two extra squares. So it became a pillow. I uh, made one side plain, and the other side just border, because I figured I have enough of that multi-printed, what, what are they called, variegated? I had enough variegated yarn on that blanket. So I figured I'd make one extra. This is an existing pillow, and I merely crocheted over it and joined it. And I'll put the whole thing in the washing machine because this is 100%, uh, it's made out of 100% acrylic. And in case somebody didn't see the um, past episodes where I was talking about this yarn, this yarn is Craft Square and Craft Smart. Did I keep a label? Uh, I've been throwing the labels out because it really took to, to acquire to 28, it really took about 10 or 12 of these these uh, skeins, the turquoise one. Took 12 of these. Each one had about um, 65. A couple of them had a lot. One of them had 131, and I found one with 220. So, hmm, it's over a thousand thousand yards. So over a thousand years, just of the turquoise, and then I bought a one, three, seven, about seven 
I got two squares each out of uh, the multicolor one. So about seven to, I can even say seven to eight. Seven to eight, yeah, about eight of the multicolor one, which was um, Michael's. Well, it's not even in Michael's. I think this yarn is also, I heard, in Walmart. I don't shop at Walmart often, so I don't really get to see all the yarn, but um, it's Craft Smart called Fiesta. And that's the multicolor one. And the funny thing is when I worked on my um, pillow, it came out looking like flowers. You see the green came in between? So it has like a flower pattern. But when I did the squares, I'll put this down right here. When I did the squares, as you can see behind me, um, it doesn't have any particular pattern. Their colors are short, you know, the change of colors. I think I talked to you uh, previously about that. If you have the color and it's less than eight inches, this is what you end up with. You end up with spots of color. Um, sometimes it could be a pattern if you have a certain stitch, but this is what mine came out like. So I'm gonna take photos of it, put it on my bed, take photos of it and I'll post it on Instagram and on Facebook if you're interested in seeing it in its entirety because it's just too big to even fit in this camera. I Even if I held it up, I couldn't hold the whole thing. And uh, the space I have on the floor is not, it's actually bigger than the empty floor space I have on my floor, so I can't put it on the floor either. I tried putting it on the sofa, because I have like a sectional, and it still didn't fit. So it's pretty long. It's hard to it's hard to handle so uh, I'll put it on the bed that's the best place uh, and we'll see where it drapes over the bed I know it's gonna go all the way down the sides because the bed's not that big um, it's a queen size it's not it's not that long if I do it the long way which would be like 92 uh, it's gonna hang over which is okay because I'm gonna use it for decoration I'm not really gonna wrap up in it and sleep and it <laughs> I'm gonna just use it to cover the bed so I'm happy with my results I finally finished so now I can go on to something new and I'm thinking of doing a shawl so the shawl will be uh, um, well there's one or two patterns I actually have two patterns that I was looking at um, one's really complicated I think I have it here one is really, really complicated and would take a long time, which never stops me. I'm not sure I'm going to do uh, crocheting for Christmas presents anyway, not this year. And I'm looking in one of my magazines to see if this is where I found it. I don't think it's this magazine. It's this one. Do you guys buy magazines? Even though we have the internet, I still buy the crochet magazines. I like this one. I get these in my supermarket. Where's the cover of this one? I get this one. This is like the summer and this was uh, this one spring and one summer. This is spring and this was summer. And they're by Interweave. Both of them? Yeah, just one. This one's Interweave. I like that one too. I, that's what caught my eye. The, thinking of making this. Let me put it up closer. I'm thinking of making this, but making it a little longer or adding a little weight to the bottom. So uh, I don't want my midriff hanging out. Maybe maybe my son's fiance or wife, the other one's wife, maybe they can do it they're young, but I don't think I want my midriff hanging out. But I love the pattern. Can you see that? So I might, I like that mesh and the sleeves. I might make the sleeves longer too. Then I can wear it over, um, well you can wear it over anything, tank top or something. And then, which one? Let me show you the, the shawl. I'll show you the pages. I think I showed this to somebody. Oh, maybe it was in the live chat. They have like really nice uh, patterns in here. And let me see if I can find that one. What I'm looking at, of course I want to do a, a complicated one. Uh, do, does anybody like to read patterns? I, I, I do, but some people don't. Oh, this is the one I want to do. 
and I'm thinking of doing it. Can you see that without the light shining on it? I like the way it ends here. I think that's so cool. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to accomplish all these, uh, accomplish all these pattern. I might not make it, but I'm going to try. And it comes with a chart. Comes with a chart. I like charts because when I get all confused, uh, <laughs> the chart helps me out. Okay, let me see if I can get this in there. Uh, yeah, that's the whole thing. So this is how it would look. It's a triangle shawl. It has these roughly edges. And I have a lot of this yarn. I have I have this color. I don't know how many... Um, and she's wearing it also. I think she's probably like six feet. She's got like a foot on me in height, so. <laughs> See how she's wearing it like a scarf? So I think I might make this one. Uh, I think this might be for me. I like the, the, the dull green. Why? I don't know. I just like the way it looks. It it's needs how many yards? It needs uh, oof, a lot. It needs, uh, wow, I'm doing the math in my head, so bear with me. It's at least, she, they say like 298 yards. Well, that's uh, 300. And then you need about four hanks, they're claiming. So I don't know how that works out because they didn't tell me how much was on a hank. Hmm, maybe a thousand, no. Yeah, about a thousand, right? Because... 300 times 3 is 900, so you need like a 1,200 maybe? 1,200 yards. Whatever you use. I'm going to, it says alpaca. They used alpaca and wool, which right there knocks it out the box for me. I can't do a, a wool, so I'm going to have to just buy plain old, you know, acrylic. I have a lot of acrylic. I have big twists, exactly that color. So I'm going to make this. Uh, it's a really long pattern. It's pages and pages of pattern. This, this, with a couple of pictures, and the chart, and then this. It's an awful lot of uh, reading. I probably won't make it, but I'm going to try. Uh, if not, it'll be a shawlette <laughs> or a kerchief. Uh, probably that's what it'll be. <laughs> It'll probably be this big, <laughs> just this big, a little bit bigger than this one. That's about how big I'm going to make it. But anyway, I'm going to try. Uh, I'm tempted, but I don't know if I'll make it. There's a few. This book has unbelievable. This mag it's a magazine, too. Just for crochet, I get it at the supermarket. And they go so fast. So obviously, I'm not the only one in town who... Uh, who crochets, but I don't know who they are. I haven't met them yet. It might be somebody I talk to all the time on the chat, but I won't know that until I one day find out where everybody lives. So I'm gonna use one of these patterns. And um, then the other pattern I'm looking at is called uh, Valley, Valley Flo Flower. It's done by J Hook, Reggie. Reggie's her name, her channel name is uh, J Hook, and she's on YouTube. Uh, she's out of Germany, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty famous influencer in, on YouTube. Uh, I, I barely got my feet wet, but she's been on for. I think she's been on for maybe a year, and she has a really big following. Very pretty lady, and she does really complicated <laughs> crochet. It keeps you busy. So she's doing the cow, which is uh, crochet along. The translation, right? It's a foreign language. It's a, a cow. That's what we call it. Us crochet is called. And when we crochet together. And I, so I think she has instructions somewhere. I haven't found them yet since I was so swamped with my blanket. I didn't get a chance to, um, to follow with her. I think she's maybe already on three, but I'll find it. I know it's on Ravelry. The pattern's called Flower Valley. Flower Valley Shawl. So, uh, but it uses a thin yarn. So I'm going to try and do that one. 
I'll start with that one, and if I get frustrated, I'll finish it off whatever way I can, which is my usually. I will, I never like to rip it out and start all over again, so I'll probably just go with my own pattern at a point if I get, you know, mired in the instructions. Looks like it has a lot of instructions, too. But hopefully you'll get to see one of those when I finish it. Um, I might make a few little things like maybe fingerless gloves and uh, oh and I have a couple of whips but I'm not gonna stay on here forever I just wanted to show you my blanket is finished um, I used a lot of crazy colors um, I used let me show you the colors I'm backing up I'm talking about this uh, blanket again and try not to knock over everything in the room it's heavy heavy for me um, I don't know if you can see it but I used this is how I join I don't like to sew I know a lot of people sew they do the mattress stitch and whip stitch and um, whatever stitch but um, I just crochet together so I crocheted around I crocheted them long ways first in case you're interested <laughs> I crocheted the long first so seven long I attached them that way and I just kept going down and down um, then I did when I had four of them then I start to join them across so this way I get that uh, cross is one piece I didn't want to like stop and then try to match up and stop so I did the long way first the length first which is seven long and then I joined all the four, the four strips. I joined them lengthwise and then I ran across, crocheted straight across all four. And it was easy that way because now the pattern was locked in. Once you do the strip, um, it wasn't really that complicated. I, my mind made it more complicated than it really was. <laughs> uh, I only had four strips, so I only had, could have but four combinations, right? Uh, either the colored first and the turquoise, the color first and the turquoise, or whatever. And uh, so I put those together first. And once I had those, I was locked in. I just had to make sure I had the top panels match. The rest already fell into place. And it was just sitting there and just joining them. But being that it was so big, you couldn't do this in the summertime, unless you have the air conditioning on. But being that it is so big, trying not to have circles on my eyes, um, I had to like almost cover up in it and then after I joined them all lengthwise and crosswise four across I went around the whole length and made borders you know did the border so I did colors that kind of contrast with each other and I didn't this color actually is not even in the blanket it's like a burnt orange. It, looks, it almost looks like it's brown. It's a burnt orange. See, there is no brownish color in there. But I saw a mind grain coming. If I put blue and orange right next to each other, like here, you can see, it was going to overwhelm your eyes. And uh, so I brought it down, the color down. I muted it down by using um, a burnt orange, which is almost, you know, it's in the same family as the orange. So then I did a row of the orange window pane, which is simple, you know, I watch, I'm watching a movie and I'm just using the boxes. And then um, I did a row of the multicolor one, the Fiesta by Craftsmart. And then I did that same thing again, I just going around and around. I, I watched four movies in one day, just going around, <laughs> around and around. And then at the end, I put two to three double crochets, two to three, I think it's three. Yeah, I put three, like the granny squares in each one. And it gave it like a little bit of a ruffly effect because it was going to be flat. But I thought that was too boring because this is a, this is a wild blanket, you know? I don't know if you can get nightmares or what when you, when you sleep under this or sleep near it. But I like the colors. I, I like I like the turquoise. It sort of looks southwestern to me. And uh, I actually did a pattern. It's actually a chevron. You can't see because it's all balled up and I, 
I just can't show you in this little, I'm using my phone, I can't show it to you. So I'll have to take a photo. And once you see the photo, then you'll see that the chevron, the, she the color, the multicolored one goes into, uh, not actually a point, but it dips down like a valley and it follows. And that's the reason why I had to make 28 because I couldn't continue the little Vs. Uh, it's all so technical and yet it's not. <laughs> So, anyway, I'm going to end this one. Um, thank you. Oh, thank you. So many people subscribed lately in the last, what is it, two, almost two weeks? Oh, no, a whole week I haven't been on. Yeah, it's a whole week. I don't think I did last weekend. So, it's like eight, ten days maybe. I don't know. And um, I had a lot of new subscribers, and I appreciate it a lot. I appreciate my niece and all my friends who recommended, you know, other people to watch me. It was really kind of you to take the time, and, uh, and I appreciate it a lot, and I wanted to say thank you. Thank you to all my existing subscribers that come back and look and see what I've been making. This took me almost two weeks just to finish up the squares, because every time I thought I had them all done, I would find one missing. But the secret was, they were dropping down, have a, like a leather uh, sectional, and you know it has like recliners. I kept losing them down in the recliner. And I kept saying, well, I only need one more. I only need two more. And then I would count them, and I would be sure, two or three. When I thought it was one, it would be two or three. And then, what? Why can't I count them? Am I sleepy when I'm doing this? It turned out, after I did all the additional ones, until I finally had the 28, I stopped finding them. I dropped, I think I dropped my hook or something. I stopped finding the squares on the floor, wedged in between, <laughs> uh, between the, the sofa and the, the recliner section of it. And it would just go down there and I guess it was hiding and that's why I couldn't make, I couldn't get to the last two. And that's why I have a pillow now. I made a pillow because uh, they kept dropping. <laughs> and I ended up with like three extras. Yeah, I had three extras because one of I ran short. I was playing yawn chicken with the turquoise. I was like, I'm not buying another skein. I know I have it. I know I have it. So when I found the extra ones, I, start, I pulled off of one of them. And it was enough to finish uh, joining and making this board, this border, this part was enough the square it went around it was enough to finish that because I was like just coming a little bit short of it and then I said you know I, I still have two squares left so then I made the pillow so this will go like like I had some I might make another pillow because I still have some of that mixed color so I might make a, I don't know I'm kind of sick of looking at this at this point I probably won't make it but I was thinking of making it <laughs> So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say goodbye before you find all my weird thinking uh, and my crazy thoughts uh, that, that go with people who try to create things off the cuff. I don't have a pattern, so I did this on my own. And, you know, my mind took me different directions. So I'm going to get off here now. And I might be back. might be back real soon because uh, I have some whips I want to show you. I just don't want to make this... Uh, this section of this episode so long. So I'm going to try and put it over there and I'm going to say goodbye and uh, be kind, keep crocheting and walk in the beauty of the day. Bye-bye.